Welcome back at 812. It was uh, a little too close for comfort for a lot of us, but Derek Carr and the Saints were able to pull off a win over the Tennessee Titans to kick off the 2023 season. Fox 8 Saints analyst Deuce McAllister is back with us uh, to recap the game. Deuce, welcome back. Another football season. Another football season, and we started with a victory. So that's always good. Let's, and let's let's keep talking about the good. The good things that happened yesterday. Let's talk uh, special teams. Let, they look great. Offense had some. We'll talk offense. <laughs> special teams, defense. Let's talk that first. Yeah, I mean, when you look <laughs> at it overall, it was all three co contributions as far as all three teams, whether it's special teams, offense, and defense. Um, you, you talk about having a black the block punt, and then you go with a, a young punter. You go with the young kicker, and all of them were solid. You know, if there's one negative that you're going to have with the uh, return game, it was obviously the uh, the fumble to open up the game. But, I mean, special teams, you, you really helped yourself, and I thought that that was needed, particularly when you talk about having a close game. You know, somebody had to make a play. Defensively, you know, uh, when you don't allow a team to be able to score a touchdown, that's very, very rare in the NFL. And then you had multiple guys to contribute. Last year, this defense only had seven interceptions total. They came up with three and probably got their hands on another three passes. So um, if that can continue, that's definitely going to help this unit. Another good thing, Deuce, it was crazy inside the Dome yesterday. Olivia called me out. I'm a little raspy this morning because I was probably among those screaming. I was among those screaming. It was crazy in there yesterday. Talk, and you've talked in the past about how important yes. the Saints fan energy is for the team and how they how they perform. Well, it's one thing for those players to understand and know that the fans are going to be behind them, and the fans were responsible for at least four false starts against their offense. And so if you can have that type of energy week in and week out, you got to give them something to cheer for. And they were into it from the opening kick, and they were excited. And I know that we're going to be on the road the next couple of weeks, but those fans are ready, and they will travel as well. So uh, we've got to continue to give them something to cheer about. The fans will have the energy. It's up to the guys to go out there and to perform. And to prove that fans will travel, Saints fans were, we were deep in London last year. So we'll go wherever as long as you give us a reason to Cheer, Deuce. That's right. Okay, let's talk about what we got to work on yep. uh, moving into this next week, a Monday night matchup. So all eyes will be on us. Mm -hmm. What do we need to be working on this week? Well, there's there's going to be plenty of things that they have to be able to fix. You know, you can talk about the consistency up front, offensive line wise. It took them a while to adjust. You know, particularly a lot of people were upset with Penning. Uh, he's still young. I mean, he has a ways to go as far as offense is concerned. There's some things that they know they need to be able to, to do. You know, you talk about being able to run the football. Look, that defense was a tough defense to go against and so you had to try to keep them honest with the runs that you had but also look at the red zone you've got to be able to continue to score points and so um, if you can protect the quarterback you can use some of those weapons that you have on the outside and you know we have a ton of those but it's going to take execution and being able to make sure that they're doing the little things right. Deuce, I know this is out of a lot of our control but uh, there was a lot of conversation in the section I was sitting in uh, about some of the calls the refs calls were kind of a lot of it questionable during uh, some of those plays. Uh, thoughts on that in the last 30 seconds here? Yeah, it, it, it happens. I mean, those officials, they have a tough job. And so when you look at it for the, the way that the um, rules book reads, it's always an interpretation, you know, and I know a lot of the fans for Tennessee are upset because uh, down at the red zone, the, the whistle was blown. It looked like the uh, hand was going for, did he have control of the ball? That being Derek Carr, I know they were upset about that. The Saints were upset that we didn't get a pass interference call. Um, Chris Olave had a shot. They didn't call it. I mean, so it, I'm not to say it bal balances out, but, you know, it's a tough job for an official. Absolutely. Well, Deuce, uh, glad to have you back. And uh, this is going to be an interesting season, but we're off to a pretty good start. Off to a good start. Off to a good start. Thanks so much. We'll see you next week.